Hey, yeah, good evening, guys. Welcome back to the cool graphic design training. I believe we're doing great today. As usual, I want to show you step by steps how you can make a football poster on your Android smartphone using your PC lab. In this tutorial, there are some things that you are going to you you are going to learn. If you follow me, watch this video from the beginning to the end. We are not going to blend anything in using this PC lab. But there is a place where we are going to do our blending. Where I got the resources, they are in three places. I got the resources from application course called Search Again. And this is the application. As you can see, I want to show you that application. This is it. Let uh, no thanks. So I want to show you this application. We we'll call it a Search Again. This is it. So whatever you want to, you are looking for, let's say, Facebook icon PNG. You just search it, you see variety of it, which you can use for whatever you want across all the websites, whether 3D or whatever it is. It's continue loading on it. It's able to uh, showcase all the Facebook icon relating to your search. I got the resources from made then from pngegg.com website. I got other resources uh, like the football, uh, meet the player. Then I got the other resources from the pay free pick. So after getting all the resources, then I came to uh, uh, make these uh, resources, pull them together and use it to make a particular design that can communicate to the people over there. So now the first thing we are going to do is to determine the size. So I'm fond of using a background size, which is a custom or a square. So you can, if you don't want to do that, you just put a 1024 or 1028. So it's the same thing you got this result. After getting that, we are going to import the background by using this method. Click the three line dots at the right hand side, then you, you go to your gallery, import the marker. But if you watched yesterday's video, something was being taught there. I made you to understand that importing the background from these three line dots always make the design not to really, I mean the background to lose quality. So after selecting it that way, I have one method which I normally use. I will see import it as an image, then lay it on top of the previous background. So after that has been done, some people might be thinking, why even including, I mean, selecting, importing that background without even using it directly? What I'm thinking that we should, the reason why I normally do it that way is because selecting the background for the beginning, based on a lack of update for the PC, will make your work to be distorted. And in order to do that, the next thing we are going to do is to just say follow this process, which I did. So next thing you are going to do is to go to your gallery. So we are going to import other elements. Like for instance, uh, I blend this image using PSCC. And what I did is very, very simple. You can do that. Let me let go to your PSCC or PS Touch. It depends on your Android phone. If you don't get PSCC, you can get PSC Touch. And this is the interface. If you don't want to blend the background, I mean the bottom of the image to blend along with your background, what you are going to do is this. Click on the photo library. Then you access your gallery. Go to where you have an image. So let me go to, uh, let's say we want to go to photo room. Where we can see an image. So I saw this. So let's assume I want to blend the bottom of this image. What can I do? I will click on and button and I can then go to fade. You can see. So what I'm going to do next is to move it towards this side. You can see. So another thing we can do is to just uh, rotate. So we can still rotate. So after rotating, we blur the begin the background. So you can see. So once we save this, we can position this on top of any background. So after saving, click on this arrow, out arrow. Click on save to PNG. Tap what you wanted to save and you save it. That is how I did for that image. So now let me go and import that image we just did now. Then you see the amazing result. That image can be blended with anything. You can see. See the image. So it can be blended with whatever you want to use it for. That is how I did this. So after selecting that, we have it lock. Then the next thing we are going to do is to go back to where we are selecting all our things. So we bring this particular image as well. So let me see whether we can use that the way it fades or we make it this way no it's okay the way it was before so it's okay so we make sure that uh, 
we use our relative position and we position it perfectly so now we have the result being like so let's go and import all the other elements one after the other to make it uh, look awesome so bringing them positioning well we'll go back so on getting there the next thing we are going to do is to position it well so after that we go in we position we bring this one in we position it well so after that the next thing we are going to do to make it uh, awesome so we are going back to our gallery since we are following everything in what in pattern you position it right uh, so we will normally ask the question why my own is fitting is cause i've already practiced because i'm before i'm showing you and i'll look at it that uh, the way i practice it is it's well sharing that's why you see me come here sharing it with you so i will do save all those elements one after the other to make the design more faster and not waste our time so after positioning that then we'll go to the gallery we import the other element where we're going to position here then we will look at how it is we can see categorically that uh, we are making sense in what we're doing okay we are making sense so after positioning this here the next thing we're going to do um let's bring this one to the front so now we have the preview we have even indirectly see now everything is going to look like so we'll, another thing we will do is to make sure that we lock everything one after the other after locking it, then so that our hand will not be what will not be disturbing it. Then we'll go to the text area. Just uh, let's say follow, follow and share, follow and share. Okay. So we want to use a phone that will very very we call when you will call an Araki. I want the follow and share to be obvious. So I want to use a phone call. Um, uh, let's use Achievo board. Achievo is not actually this type because it's a phone family. So we want to use a phone that is bold, but not too bold anyway. So we select this. Then we reduce the size to a bare minimal level where we are going to position that. By following everything in hierarchy, make sure that you turn on your grid and you click on this, move it towards the top. Then you tap on it. So now this shows, um, this one give us the accurate result that we actually wanted. Then we'll go, go here by reducing the size a little bit. So after that, to so have it positioned very well. After that, so everything is actually plumbed the way we, uh, the way we actually seen it. So after that, the next thing we're going to do right now is to go back to the text area where we have a get listers, get latest updates. Okay, get latest updates. Then we'll go to font. Then we choose that uh, Achievo, Achievo semi board, which is not really board, so that that one will be uh, in substitution to this. So we, then we reduce the size so that we maintain the hierarchy and we maintain the alignment. It should be at the center of the follow and share. So now after putting the setting that to uh, look awesome, then the next thing we are going to do is that looking at um um. Uh, let's say we want uh, want to tag something we put in error then let's say we say match madness okay so let's use um a, a font called uh, teco so let's use the teco medium then you go to the boat then slant it make it a uh, slant by clicking the high at the bottom that is uh, and when you if you are familiar with our system Control high give you italic. It will italize your object. I mean your text. So um they they borrow that from there. So when you click on the italize, I mean capital letter I, then it's your 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 text will be italized. You getting it? So um reminding us that uh, so that we will not remember, we will not forget. We we'll always remember that uh, clicking on high. Excuse, give me, give um, clicking on a high icon will give you, uh, we italize your right up. So now I'm trying to make this one uh, blend along with this, and the uh, suitable and the perfect along that area. So now let's reposition it very well. So after doing that, the next thing we're going to do is to just uh, go to the bottom where we have. Uh, want to use a font called Jockey One. So let's say we have a 15, 15, I will give a space, another space, space 15, 
let's see november 15 november to 15 november to 4. we have to give it two space so after us to give it two space then we say december okay perfect perfect so after that the next thing we are going to do is so simple so we'll go to the phone then we choose a font called jockey why a font called jockey so when we look at that jockey it's going to be okay so this should be okay anyway then go to the board and i have each boat position needs around this particular area so let's see up here then we are going to increase the size a little bit go to the relative position and position to the center it should be properly aligned and there should be justification in your uh, uh, movement so what we're going to do next is to have a let's put some write up to make it a more awesome so let's say watch the tournament the tournament okay watch the tournament on this network on this network okay it's still perfect or let's say or online at uh just a perfect uh, i mean example let's say um d c d a just a kind of uh dot com you'll see for practicing secret anyway slash match madness match madness so now we have this result which kind of font can we use at this particular area so i'm thinking of using an uh, achievable as well should be the best so we reduce the size to the bare minimal level so after that we have to position that around there then we look at how it can it should it can be placed to make it uh, okay so now we have this result position it to the center then we can have uh, you can look at look at how all these are, are shown by let there be spacing between these two line of text okay so after that the next thing we are going to do let there be space in between the alphabet so click here and uh, there should be a space in between the alphabet reposition is centralized okay perfect so the next thing we are going to do the next thing we are going to do is to just put a finishing touch here because we are done with the whole design so you look at it properly you make sure that everything is actually aligned so we have the best result here then the next thing i normally do to make my own design more okay because there's one thing i'm still going to show you at later on so this is the best anyway so i want it to be more brighter than that and i don't want to apply any effort so you can come here and uh, use the color picker pick the color from here so let's say we pick from here so i want it to be more okay so we tap on here so let's go okay good so we can have something like two okay perfect so now we are done with the whole result and this is just a simple trick or now you can come up with a particular this on particular poster using your android smartphone so now i'm thinking of uh, adding something that will make it uh, more okay so what i'm going to i'm going to add the next so i will just uh, copy this particular area then we have what we call a th since it's a dot uh, uh 14 i mean 15th of march so i mean november so we bought it and uh, we position to the center first then we'll move it to the appropriate place so let me move it to the appropriate place after reducing okay perfect so now we can copy after copy reposition to the center as i do say then you move so move to this particular area so we have the two results being position so about to be there okay okay so we have this to be perfect anyway the way it was right now so now we are done with the whole design and i believe we all learn something from here thanks for watching god bless you don't forget to uh 
practice and uh, don't forget to modify some things here uh, design i mean being creative is not about copy it's all about thinking and uh, outside the shape and find the reason why something is being like this why am i putting this like this why is it like this so you should be able to think uh, from your own hand so that you won't copy you'll be able to bring something new uh, at the end of the day that is how to practice after getting a mentor that's the first thing to do as uh, someone really aspire to be a graphic designer so after that after getting a mentor then the next thing you need to do is to work on yourself as well because at that time if you are just learning without working on yourself there is probability that you might not uh, you might not uh, get what you want on time so it's far better uh, while you are practicing while you are learning you should be practicing so that uh, things will be very very easier for you so i believe what uh, gather some things here following an hierarchy you make sure that uh, this is aligned that is what i'm trying to adjust so now we have the full result thank you for watching god bless you see you in the next class